Last week, Alison flew into the lead with her helicopter staycation. But who will win this week's staycation showdown? Will it be Gibson or Hammond? Let's find out. Welcome to Alison and Josie's staycation showdown. In this series, we'll be travelling the length and breadth of the country, competing against each other to find the ultimate staycation location. Hello! Last time, I went steaming ahead. We are going to stay on the train carriage. Come and have a look at this. Oh, wow, the view's amazing. Yeah, but I flew into the lead with my helicopter. I think you might have outdone me on the train here. OK, OK, well, now we're in my hometown of Bristol and holy moly, have I got one for you. <gasps> oh, it's a church! Where are we, we going to sleep? In there. <laughs> this is going to be insane. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! I'm so excited. This Grade 2 listed chapel was a working Methodist church up until two years ago when owner Luca and her husband renovated it into a stunning holiday home. What original features were in here already? What have you got so, so far that was original? The masterpiece, this organ, was, was there and it was, it was pretty much in the same condition as it is now. We haven't really restored it or done anything to it, but it's the original organ and the original pulpit as well. So what type of people come and stay here? really appeals to singers, writers, they come down and record, they'll set up equipment and um, oh, so music lovers really. Have you had any famous people here? Well, we might have had one or two. Oh, yeah. You like to sound. <laughs> <laughs> Did actually have um, Paul Weller came and stayed here and uh, sat at the piano there and tinkled the old ivory. Did he so. sing, you do something <laughs> to me, something deep inside. <laughs> yeah, something a little bit more subtle, yeah. <laughs> if it's subtle you're looking for, Luca. It's not us, I'm afraid. Save tonight, fight the break of dawn, come tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be gone. Yeah. Keep going, Jones. You're ruining it. You're ruining it. Mate, you're, you're ruining it. You're ruining my jam. I just thought you'd enhance it, that's no, all. No, no, no. That's sorry. fine. I'm not sure there was much to ruin, to be honest, Josie. OK, so I've brought you to this amazing church, which has had music royalty stay here. What have you got? Let's just say I'm keeping with the royalty theme. You stay there. I'm off to get it ready. See you in a bit, Babs. Bye. While Alison is getting her place ready, here's some lovely shots of the church with a rather fitting song of how confident I am in winning. We can all agree, unless she comes up with something like <laughs> a castle, there is no way she is going to win this week. She said she was somewhere around here. Hi, babes! Look at my castle! Woo! A castle! An actual castle! You stay there, I'll come down! No, you wait there, I'll come up! Time for your tour on my way down. This is Torstock Castle in Barnstable, North Devon. It comes complete with four bedrooms, six turrets and a 35-foot reception room, where I'm hoping to find Josie. Hmm, no Josie. Josie, where are you? Al? I said I was coming up here. I said I was going down there. Oh, I know. Let's meet inside! <laughs> there you are! <laughs> Hello, Vibes. Oh, what do you think, Vibes? I think... This is my castle. It's literally a 17th century castle. How cool is this? It is incredible. The modernised it. You've still got your creature comforts. No TV. This is all about just coming here, chilling well, there out. Is a, there's a TV there, Al. Oh, I didn't notice that TV. All right, it might have a TV but it's also got all this cool castle stuff. But the best bit is looking over the eight acres of land that comes with it, making you feel like royalty. This over-the-top music helps with that as well. If I was a queen, I think I'd be a nice queen. Um, I think I would invite the people up to the castle every now and then. They could come and eat, spend some time with me as a queen, and then they could go home. I'd have a lot. I'd have maids to do my hair. Would you? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, wash me. You know, like rub my feet. So basically you wouldn't do nothing. Well, I'm the queen, so 
queens don't like do a lot. Do they? Guess who I'd employ to be my jester? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I'd make you laugh, Jones. I'd make you laugh. <laughs> You'd definitely be my jester. And you can even share my room. Don't go that far. Don't get any ideas. The room I'm about to show you has two beds. Four posts of bed. What do you think, darling? Oh, it really Have is. Have a little sit down. There's your bed. Here's mine. It really is like being in a castle, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what you remind me of? A princess? No, you know the witch in The Wizard of Oz when the, she gets crushed by the house and her feet are hanging out? You remind me of that. <laughs> <laughs> I remind you of a witch. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like my castle, more like. I brought a castle to the table. I mean, you literally can't beat this, really, could you? I think you've done very, very well. I mean, I loved, love, love my chapel yesterday, but this, I mean, is a castle. is is incredible. I suppose I've won, haven't I? Mean, I yeah. Again. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things, isn't it? Two one, two one. Oh, it's not even two one. It's two zero. <laughs> Sorry. What was that song earlier, Joe? Well, I think they're right, aren't they? Well, we, we, were, we did agree last week that we were going to have the, the casting vote. Yeah. And we've watched it and yeah. we've deliberated and um, Alison's won again. She has. I mean, it was a beautiful castle. I want to go there. I want to go there.